Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering IBM Edge 2015, brought to you by IBM. Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman. Ed Walsh is here, he's the CEO of Catalogic Software. Ed, it's like old home week here at, at Edge. You were at the first Edge in Orlando. You were at the time an IBM executive. So how's it feel to be back? It's good. In fact, uh, it is a little, a little bit like old, old home week, seeing clients and different things as I walk through the halls. It was, it was pretty interesting. They let you in the building. That's I, good. Uh, that's things good. are good then. No, no, it's been fantastic. <laughs> it is interesting as far as the uh, how it's grown. So if you look at Edge from four years ago, actually five years ago to now, it's really grown. They've done a good job. I actually like the show. A lot of interaction with clients, so it's good. Yeah, and they've expanded it now, the scope with more Z and power and a little yeah. bit of middleware in there, so it's not just a storage right. show. They've done great. So and, and yeah, I was at the first edge, so the first keynote, I was announcing uh, core technology being added onto the platform called real-time compression with the acquisition of StoreWise. That was kind of cool. So it's a little deja vu, so here we're back, not as an acquisition, but an ecosystem partner announcing new capabilities onto their platforms with copy data management. So it's a little bit of deja vu. And I got a couple comments this morning about exactly that, so it's, it's interesting. Yeah, so Catalogic Software, you guys are going after that whole copy data management Correct. space, but with a different strategy. You're not basically coming and saying, here's our stack, you have to buy our stack. You're trying to leverage other copy services. So right. NetApp was really where your main focus yep. has been, um, assuming, yeah, something yeah. going on with IBM, so give us the update. Yeah, so we're announcing today, so it's a little bit ahead, but we're announcing today that we're integrating with, and we're very excited about it, integrating with IBM's product lines, their flagship products. So we're with the StoreWise products, uh, SVC, they're all Flash Array, which is our V9000, and also the Flash Copy Manager. So in all those environments, you download our software, we agentlessly discover them, and we allow you to leverage those environments for things like automatic DR, test dev, analytics. So you get the power of getting more you know, data leverage, but also you save a lot of copies. You don't need these separate environments from test dev or DR, et cetera. So talk about Catalogic's strategy yeah. relative to say other guys in the business. So you kind of hit upon it. So, and this is, uh, we're excited to be partnering with IBM, but also it's part of our core strategy. So where we believe our architecture is fundamentally different is we're more aligned with how the enterprise is going to consume copy data management, but also how the ecosystem wants to deploy it. So we're software only. We don't make you move your bits from your platform onto our platform. We literally say, listen, keep it in place. In fact, we're the only ones who can do copy damage in place. You already have application consistent snapshots, local remote. You have snapshots abound. Uh, let's let you leverage that. The key thing is uh, data management last two decades is all been about making one more copy. If you have a problem, let's make a copy. Test dev, oh, copy, analytics, multiple copies. It's hard to keep up with that. And you're in a situation where you have all these copies, killing your budgets, and you have no idea how to get to that data access. So what we're talking about copy data management is really the key thing is that we allow you to see what you have, your copies, and leverage them. But we're doing it across platforms, so it's software only. So we're not saying move your bits to mine, we're saying, hey, if you're a NetApp shop, an IBM shop, and then dot, 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 we're also announcing with VMware in two weeks, but you'll see other platforms. Keep it in place and we'll give you all this value without you changing. You bought your VMware, your uh, your IBM or your Flash Copy Manager on purpose for good reasons, keep it there, I'll let you add on top of it with a very simple software layer. Yeah, so Ed, you know, heterogeneous support's been one of those big challenges in the storage yep. world. You know, yep. IBM's done one of the better jobs with SVC and they yep. kind of put that in front sure. and put everything behind it. Look at EMC with kind of the failed Invista effort yep. and other technologies. You know, how, how does Catalogic do it differently? Yeah, so um, we're at the, you know, people use a control layer and data layer. So we're at the control layer, so we're not trying to be at the data layer. So SVC does a great job. In fact, we're in with SVC, we're not competitive. If SVC takes all that storage and virtualizes it and creates great snapshots replication, real-time compression, uh, all the things that they do great, the reason you bought SVC, all we do is on top, just through public API work of the VMware, uh, the hypervisor layer, and the storage, we're able to get all these use cases. So we're not the data layer, which is really quite hard, right? So we're not a RAID stack, we don't do replication, there's no agents, we're literally just allowing you to see what you have and leverage what you already have in your environment. So that makes it easier. So we announced in February with NetApp only, and people said, NetApp only, that's interesting, but I might have more than that in my environment. So four months later, we're back. Now we have VMware, anything, any VMware environment, regardless of what storage is on, we can give you copy data management, but also we can do it on these uh, key IBM platforms, which is all the StoreWise family, SVC, um, 
the all flash array and then flash copy manager, those are key pieces of the IBM portfolio. So our software defined, also they're talking about software defined, about having agility and control, that's exactly where we fit. We only control plane uh, more than data plane, which makes it easier. And also I think four months to do all that work shows that the platform and our ability to, put, you know, to build these providers quickly is playing out. And you'll see more announcements every four months as we release in our release train. So a lot of people you know, today talk about, I'm a platform, I'm a platform, I'm a platform. You're not trying to be a broad platform. You're basically saying, we will ride on top of other people's platforms and we'll add value to it. Is that fair? Yeah, no, that's fair. But what we use the term platform is you can add to it, right? So this software platform we can add to it. Like for instance, we added uh, just different, uh, um, some clients wanted a key ability to do chargebacks. Now, because we, in order to work in other people's environments, the way we do it is we catalog your environment. We have an actual catalog through APIs, but, and then we use that to orchestrate and automate your environment. But we also have all this data, so people use it for chargeback. But we did that simple thing in our marketplace. You can download these software players. It adds onto our software. The other thing about platform is we don't do an integration with a particular storage or hypervisor, like we're doing Hyper-V in, um, uh, in September. It's more that we do a provider and it plugs into the architecture, which is our platform. So our concept of platform is it's very um, extensible in it, the way that we deploy. In, in your, your, yeah, and as you define that platform, yeah. it's a sort of a, it's 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 not a, a raid stack that's uh, you know forty right. feet deep. It's other that, people do that, yeah. <laughs> and we're not going to do it. But but at the same time, you're expanding your TAM by knocking down you know, new areas of of compatibility, innovation, yeah. VMware, IBM, clients NetApp. all. Clients all have multiple race stacks. Right. Even if they're called uh, IBM shop, they have multiple IBM solutions. Uh, they always want to keep multiple vendors. We do across it. So our job is to now go across all the storage ecosystem, both the array side and then what you do, hypervisor or cloud OSs, which you see a very aggressive roadmap during this calendar year. And you'll continue to see that as we go forward. And how about Flash? So we've been yeah. doing a lot of work on, on Flash yep. and, and how it relates to copy data management and how it affects developer productivity. What are you seeing in the marketplace? So again, uh, Flash is, uh, we're announcing with the V9000, which is IBM's all Flash array, uh, great value set, but Flash is uh, kind of a tipping point. You can do a lot more with it. Now we can work our solutions with storage because we're cataloging your environment and we're using off-site, off off-site, off primary copies of your data, so you don't affect production. But in a flash environment, every time you do flash, it's mission critical. It's either a critical application that you're rolling out, or it's a critical piece of your environment that you want to get access. In business units, either test dev or analytic teams always want access into that data. Also, DR becomes critical. So if it's that critical, you're going to want to do daily DR. You're going to want to know you can come up and running like that, right? Leveraging the architecture you bought, like the V9000. So specifically, copy data management is kind of a killer app. In those environments, without changing anything, out of band, we're not in line. No one wants to be in line in a flash play. It's all about latency. So we're not in line. We're just talking to APIs. Literally, without changing anything, I can give you a way to have um, automatic daily DR, which you can't do with any other solution set. I can give you test dev, borderline on DevOps. Take an environment, you know, eight to different VMs, present it up to a particular environment, in a fence network environment, let them play with it, roll it to production, and do that over and now you have a DevOps type of automation. The other thing about Flash, and you guys picked up on it, is you can do these snapshots. We can, again, give a last good snapshot with a VMware envelope, uh, you know, with uh, in a separate uh, fence network. Now you can give that to multiple developers. And what we're seeing is the, uh, the OPEX savings is huge. If they're offshoring test dev or QA, now what they're able to do is instead of losing half their shift, if you would, to just setting up the environment, tearing it down, we're able to do that automatically just through public APIs. So you're getting back like half of your development. Um, also analytics. If it's on Flash, it's important. People want to get after it for operational analytics. You can choose to do it the old way and do some population, or I can give you uh, that environment in full fidelity as it looked an hour ago if you're doing hourly snapshots, and I can refresh that mount point for the analytic workload as often as you're doing snapshots. So for Flash, it's like a killer app, and uh, but we can do it without Flash, but Flash is, uh, people talk about these uh, dedupe ratios, we do 20 to one. Now in Flash, people are talking about developer, they can give 20 to one, they can take the same database and they can give it to 20 different developers where they can't do that with storage. Yeah, so, so, so Edwin, I think back to David Floyer's research in that space yes. specifically. It's a great um, you know, It's great when we can save companies money. It's even better when you can save them operationals a little bit soft and everything. But the real amazing opportunity is when we're really transforming businesses, there's, they're able to move faster, they get new yep. you know, value back to the yep. business. Yep. You know, what, what are you seeing in your customer base that you know, using this technology helps them you know, it, 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 you know, 
get more value. Well, uh, it, I think the DevOps is the biggest thing. Yeah. They can literally take their traditional storage and do DevOps. They can do more releases. So if a release schedule is critical for an application, uh, if it's on Flash, it is critical. That's why they're actually paying the Delta. But we can do it quickly and get more development, more releases out. Which you know, if you can speed up a release train by you know 30, 45 days, it's huge in the enterprise. Because they used to do yearly releases or twice a year releases. Now they're doing releases on a monthly basis. As they go even further into DevOps, they can do it daily, but that's not where the enterprise is at. They're really at the, hey, can I do monthly type of releases? So there's a couple things we're talking about here. So the, it's, if I understand it, it's the number of copies yep. that you can essentially share and serve out of a single device, yep. whereas with disk, you've got to replicate those copies Correct. on multiple devices. Correct. So you're using different devices, this yep. management headache, and so forth. Yep. So, I don't know what the ratio is, if I can support, I don't know, let's say uh, two use cases with the same spinning disk, I can maybe support, I don't know, five, six, seven, ten, n out of, out of flash, yep. so I'm more efficient yep. there. But the bigger thing that I'm hearing, so first of all, is that right? Uh, I, it's probably 20x. Yeah, okay, so it's, <laughs> it, it's, it's a whole different time. I mean, it's no not going to happen no in a step function, basically. but maybe it will, actually. Yep. It, it might Eventually. just step function up. Yep. The other piece, that strikes me is the developer productivity, and you sort of touched on this. So, yep. I'm hearing that I can now work op operate off a live data set, essentially, or yep. an hour old data set, so right. I can do my test and dev on real data as opposed to some dummy data that's a month old. Yep. Less errors, faster, better feature sets, all the reasons that you want to, it's better development. Yeah, so that drives developer productivity in a way that, um, affects the organizational productivity. Yeah. Well, you were saying your typical release is what, twice a year? Well, in the enterprise a year, it's and you're seeing You're seeing once a month? Right, we're seeing it accelerate at least 2x or 3x. Um, and it's just, it's simple. They're using Flash, which gives them a lot better agility on their own side performance, and then what we're doing is orchestrating what you already bought. So in Flash, let's say an Oracle environment or a particular application, local copy, you're doing snapshots, you do a remote for DR, and typically you do a second for resiliency. What do you do with a second, third copy? Nothing. Well, guess what? We give you visibility in lineage and location so you know what it is. No one wants it, even in Flash, they don't want to use their production snapshots. They want to use their secondary DR an application consistent an hour ago and use those. So that plays in hard disk or in Flash. But now in Flash, you can serve those copies up to 20x developers, full fidelity, and let them go after it very quickly. So Ed, this is not your first time around the block in a, no. in a small, you know, growth-oriented startup. No. It's, um, so talk about uh, Catalogic and, and where you're at relative to some of the other you know, companies that you've managed, how you're approaching it. You've got a development team in Israel, yep. so you probably spent a lot of time over there. Um, you're building out sales and marketing. Maybe talk about where you're at. Uh, so it is a, a little bit issue with my uh, career as you're going back. So StoreWise was Israel. So this company is actually in New Jersey. So uh, me in the USA. Um, so 74 developers out of northern New Jersey. Um, but as far as where we are, uh, this was a spin out of a private equity company. So basically a private equity spin out, excuse me. So we've been shipping product for over 18 years. So it's more robust. We have service and support locations in the Netherlands and the United States. We're worldwide. We have more girth to the overall opportunity. Uh, what we do is hard. All the major guys try it. IBM, NetApp, EMC, all try it. It's really hard. Everyone knows the problem, they want to solve it, but it's really hard to do at scale. Because we're not talking thousands, we're talking billions of objects, right? So uh, I think we're better off. I think the ecosystem gets this easier. Uh, Avamar, which data demand, you know, it was hard to get dedupe to be understood. Storewise, get people to understand you can do compression with no performance degradation. That was kind of hard rowing. This one's really easy for people. They say, if you can do it, I'm in. It's very straightforward. Both the ecosystem and the enterprise gets this particular problem. It, yeah. And that's because it's not as sensitive to the performance of the system. It's more, okay, I, I can see how this is going to affect my productivity. If it works, I'll, I'll take it. Right. And, and so your challenge is then ticking off those different platforms. So you got NetApp, you got IBM, you got VMware. I heard, thought I heard Hyper-V coming. Yep. Um, or are you working Amazon? So what you're going to see is that our platform's been built, and we've been telling people since February announced, but in four months, we've made it now to two of the top three players, and you'll see those players be knocked down in the next year. So, you know, uh, you're going to see a very aggressive move, and the architecture allows us to do that very simply through public APIs. We don't need any deep integration. That's on purpose, um, but it's easy once you do this plugin, you get all the capabilities. And how about the go-to-market specifically with IBM? What's going on there? 
So and we'll have IBM part numbers, so we'll, but we're still going to meet in the channel. So look at it as a strategic uh, vendor. Um, uh, it's not an OEM arrangement, it's a resale arrangement. Um, but also, more importantly, we're going to go to market with their software-defined storage teams. And this becomes, hey, uh, let's tell Spectrum Control or Spectrum Protect. This becomes, if you think about it, it's an add-on to give those platforms even more capabilities. And it's a nice play. Their software-defined with our software-only, or you can call it software-defined copy data management, is a perfect fit. And all we do is one-on-one is three. We don't do anything they do. We literally plug on with no agents, nothing in band, and we allow them to do all these use cases that they couldn't do without us. Well, they must have to be more receptive to you than some of the other guys that you're competing with that are trying to bring in the full stack and say basically don't use the NetApp stack yeah. or the IBM stack, use our stack. You guys are coming in and adding value on top, so I presume they're more receptive. Yeah, again, I think it plays to, uh, we're just more aligned with how the ecosystem wants to deploy, but also enterprise. Enterprises don't want, hey, move your bits from this stack to this stack, and we'll give you all these cool use cases. They say, listen, I already have a bunch of stacks. Show me it here. Same thing with an IBM. They have a portfolio. We're doing it across their portfolio, and that's what, you know, all of a sudden clicks with them, like saying, that's how I want it. That's software defined. That's across a different hardware. That's how we want to do it. That's a control layer, not a data layer. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where we play. All right, Ed, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. It was great hey, to see you, you as always. And, uh, good luck with Catalogic and thank you. all these uh, platforms that you're knocking down. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, it. keep right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this. This is theCUBE. We're live from IBM Edge 2015. Right back.